What's up everybody, I'm Tyler Holt, muscle farm athlete, and today I'm gonna to take you through my back workout. So this back workout is focused on building a bigger back. We wanna keep it intense. We're gonna do max reps, we're gonna do supersets, and we're gonna even include a resistance bands to switch it up. This workout should take you 45 to 60 minutes. Let's get started. First exercise is, in my opinion, the king of back exercises. We're gonna start with pull-ups. We're gonna start with pull-ups because they're probably the hardest exercise to do for your back. It's all body weight, and we don't wanna to jump to those when our back is already burnt out. We wanna hit them fresh off the bat. We're doing four sets, going max reps. Get as many as you can in, get a good squeeze in the back. If you need a little bit of assistance, use a resistance band or use a assisted machine. I want you to focus first on keeping shoulders down and back, and as you pull up, lift your chest high to the bar. At the bottom, I like to really just stretch my lats out and then contract my lats first before I do the pull so we're getting a proper full range of motion. When we're going to failure on these, I want to keep your rest between sets at about a minute. I still want to keep the intensity high. On the last rep of each of these, I want you to make sure you get a great squeeze, guys. A lot of people tend to just give up on that last rep. I want you to put everything you got in that last one. All right, so next exercise is gonna be a band-resisted dumbbell row. We're gonna go three sets of 10 on this, and try to increase the weight on each set. The reason we're using a resistance band on these is simply just to emphasize the full contraction on these dumbbell rows. As you're pulling against the band, the band gets tighter and it pulls more force against you. So on these guys, the sets are 10 of each, but I want you to increase the weight each set. I want you to work, I want you to keep it intense, I want you to really push yourself. It's gonna be hard, there's gonna be more weight, more gravity pulling you down and away from you, but just keep working through it. Third exercise is a pin lay row. We're gonna go three sets. First set is 12, second set is 10, third set is eight. Again, we're increasing weight with each set. So the pin lay row is very similar to a bent over row, but it's starting in a deadlift position. The reason we do it this way, is when we're doing a regular bent over row, we can use a lot of momentum going from rep to rep. This time, we're coming to a dead stop each rep, and we're making sure that we're using our full back to get that weight up each time. If we're gonna set up just like a deadlift, we want a straight lower back, hips down, chest up, head up, and then we're going to explode from that dead stop position and do a bent over row. On this exercise, the row portion of it, we should be feeling our upper back working, but since we're coming to a dead stop in a deadlift position each time, our lower back's gonna get a little bit of work too. Last exercise is gonna be a superset. We're gonna burn your back out on this as well. We've got three sets of a wide grip lat pull down for 10 reps, right into a rope pull over for 20 reps. On this last exercise, we're really focused on building out the lats. We're gonna start with a wide grip pull down to build your back out wide, and then we're gonna hit a rope pull over to hit the insertion of the lats and help build that V taper. We're gonna go heavy on the lat pull downs to really break down the muscle fibers, and then we're gonna hit a high rep on the pull overs to pump your lats full of blood. Again, remember, when we're activating the back, we wanna go shoulders down and back first, always before we start the pull. Engage the back and then finish the movement. By the end of this, our back should be feeling really good, guys. We should feel it from top to bottom, left to right. We should be feeling wide and our back should be feeling big. This is a great workout to throw into your split once a week. If you're really, really wanting to grow your back, throw it in twice a week, guys. By the end of this, six to eight weeks, our back should be noticeably wider and we should have more definition throughout the back. The full breakdown of this workout is here below on bodybuilding.com. And if you have any questions for me about this workout, you can find me on Instagram, at tholt21, or Facebook, Tyler Holt. For more videos and articles from athletes like myself, come back to bodybuilding.com. Over 45 fitness plans, daily workouts, results for life, only $8.99 a month.